Indigenous leaders are working hard to prepare remote communities for the COVID-19 pandemic, but chronic overcrowding is making social distancing rules impossible to follow. And there are fears food and other essentials will become harder to get and more expensive to buy. Remote people, including musician Ray Dixon, in Malinja, seven hours drive south of Darwin, are bracing for the arrival of COVID-19. I am worried and, and, and uh, our people here are worried as well. Remote community lockdowns haven't yet stopped all traffic. You know, tourists coming through, we don't know if they are infected with it. And yeah, in a shop, in a roadhouse, Coronavirus. And that's all. Indigenous organizations, including the Northern Land Council, are racing to get as much information out as possible to help remote communities to protect themselves. But in many communities with overcrowded housing, social distancing measures are difficult. For our communities where overcrowding, where you may have 20, 30 plus people in a house, that's even near impossible to try and do that. Getting communities to set aside cultural obligations, to hold large gatherings for funerals, greet elders and share food, drink and cigarettes is also hard. Uh, very much, unfortunately, yes. And um, this is why we need to be very considerate when getting the Dao story out there. Despite government food security assurances, with grocery prices soaring in some remote communities, there's a call for federal regulators to investigate. We have highlighted this to the federal government uh, that maybe the ACCC needs to start looking across all of these stores uh, to start looking at is there price gouging. Many remote community people are still stuck in town, sleeping rough in parks. Indigenous organisations are lobbying governments to establish accommodation in the main centres to get the most vulnerable off the streets before the pandemic wave hits. There are some vacant uh, precincts and motel type um, pr uh, facilities around the place now. So governments and service providers that have that responsibility need to look at what those options are. In Marlinja and other remote communities, families are bunkering down. Everyone is in the house and then, you know, family keeping their kids in the house. But people are trying to stay positive. Be strong, be safe. Be very, very careful. Wise words for all communities. Jane Barden, ABC News.